Grendel is kind of a dragon creature, but he likes to have his cup of tea and sit on his couch and watch the sun set. He's really just this nice guy. <laughs> when these Vikings move in next door, his first thought is, I want to go meet these awesome neighbors. Like, I'm going to take them cookies. It's all about kind of being that nice neighbor, like, hey, everyone likes cookies. Who doesn't like cookies? And then things go wrong when the Vikings see him and think, oh, he's a monster. Huh? It's a twist on the story of Beowulf. The story of Beowulf is kind of an old English uh, tale. Beowulf is the hero, and he comes in, and he ends up killing a monster named Grendel. So we kind of flip the story and the idea on its head. Grendel's kind of this friendly monster that has these really rowdy Viking neighbors move in next door to him and start harassing him. The reason why we chose this project was because of its scale. Not only is the running time long, but the number of assets, locations, props, characters, uh, this is by far the largest project we've ever taken on. When it was originally pitched in the pitch night, it was ridiculous. All of these different characters, all these different sets. There was an ocean, there was fire. All these different things going on. If you were to compare this like to a Pixar film, Pixar likes to have just a limited number of backgrounds, like two or three characters in their shorts. We have this huge swath of extra, just little Vikings that are sort of thrown around like props. Then you have Beowulf, Grendel, and then you have this huge dragon. We had really skilled animators working on our film with us, and the lighting turned out really well. All of the effects I was really impressed with. <laughs> My favorite thing is that they designed Beowulf, who's supposed to be superhuman and very masculine, as a man who actually can't grow a beard which obviously is a fatal flaw for a Viking. <laughs> so instead, he actually has a little Viking that just holds onto his earlobes. So sometimes that Viking falls off his face and you see that he's got like a weak chin. This beard, I believe it was made by Brent's wife, one of our faculty heads. Um, I always joked that it would be a punishment. If anyone doesn't get their work done, they got to wear this beard. I got this call and they were like, um, this is the Student Academy people. There's a really big issue with your film. Uh, it's won an Academy Award. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <coughs> this is the first Student Academy Award where we've won a number of years. It's a really big thing and every year we've pushed to try to make character animation better. This actually has characters that seem to come to life. I was so happy that we could win this award because it's another great way for us to kind of look back and be really happy and feel no regrets for how hard we worked.